tonight, and I'd like to give you this trance state as a, uh, as a gift. talking to you all as a group, but I'm also talking to each of you as an individual. I'm talking to the deepest part of your unconscious mind. I want to know more about the experiment. It really makes us have to question what is our relationship with time? And what is our relationship with reality?
nice thing about daydreaming is that daydreaming, which has been considered you know, a sign of incompetence, a sign of um, bad academic potential, we now realize that daydreaming can break you or make you. The great geniuses did something different. They daydream big. side tends to be dominant in rhythm, color, spatial awareness, imagery, in daydreaming. And you must know that, for example, creativity is not as nearly everyone in the world thinks. But creativity involves logic. It involves analysis. It involves words, songs. So the conclusion is that both sides of the, of the brain, of the cortex, need to be used in harmony with each other. Then you get an explosion of creativity.